Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest in the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so today I'm in Beverly Hills, California at David Rivero's Monetized Talks. This is one of my favorite events of the month. I do not miss it for anything. If you haven't been to one yet, check out monetizedtalks.com and maybe next month we'll see you here at the event. Um, my next guest, he's going to be speaking tonight. Um, his name is Walter O'Brien. Walter, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. All right, so uh, no spoilers here because uh, this will be out way after your talk tonight. What, what are you going to talk about tonight? We're going to start with a little bit of an introduction for what Scorpion is and what the company does, kind of how we ended up where we're at today. And then um, the rest of the speech will cover a couple of topics. One is how to protect yourself in the mm. world of AI. There's a yeah. lot of AI and cybercrime and stuff happening mm. these days. So we're giving people tips on how to protect themselves in their business because mm-hmm. the, the scams have gotten more complicated. Yeah. And then we're actually going to launch into some of what we coach for other CEOs which is definitions of happiness and mm. kind of how to engineer your own happiness. Wow. So, yeah. So how'd you get started, I mean, as an entrepreneur in this business? So like, and with Scorpion, how'd you get started? Um, I started coding and teaching myself programming in Ireland when I was nine. Oh, wow. By 13, I hacked into NASA, stole the space shuttle blueprints, got busted by the NSA, <laughs> did a deal so with the government. you're a legend. Um, diagnosed with an IQ 197, so mm. the fifth highest in the world. Wow. Started a company with high IQ individuals managed mm-hmm. by high EQ people. Mm. And then the company expanded over the years solving technical problems because my degrees were computer science mm-hmm. and AI. Mm. And then solving non-technical problems from medical to legal mm. and kind of project managing those to conclusion. And then over the last several years, we made the TV show Scorpion wow. on CBS, which is my based on my life story. Wow. We got about a billion viewers globally on that. Oh, my gosh. So AI is one of the things you're going to be talking about a bit today. So with your IQ, with your breadth of knowledge, with your vantage point, what kind of trends are you following? Well, just like we can see how AI can increase our productivity for our research, automating websites, Mm -hmm. um, other small tasks in a regular business. Mm -hmm. If you're in the business of scamming people, then AI also speeds that up. Mm. So scams that wouldn't have made sense before if you were trying to make a a fake financial company or something, it would be a lot of work to scam one person. But if AI can do it for you, then you can scam thousands of people a lot faster, a lot quicker. Also, then they could take your your kids' TikTok videos, record their voice, mm. simulate that, and have them call you as if they've been kidnapped, and then oh my gosh, and then request money. So these are all things that are already happening. Mm-hmm. And once upon a time, that would have been maybe cost prohibitive for the I don't know how I should say this, like the lower level thief, if you will, like you needed more organized resource. crime. Yeah, yeah, like and and so now it's unfortunately more accessible to many. Am I off on that, by the way? I don't want to put no, words more in more accessible, mouth. more timely, faster, mm. easier for them to gather information, easier for them to data mine mm. and look for the higher net worth people and so yeah. on. So they're just automating everything just like the businesses are automating wow. everything. So I know there's only so much we can go into today in all fairness because I know they're going to be calling you up on stage in a minute, but there's a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, executives that listen to this show all around the world. What are some of the top, if you will, like priorities they should be thinking about when it comes to security and this new AI world that we're in? It depends on which half of their brain they're using to run the business. Mm. So if you take the analogy of left brain, right brain, yeah. if someone is more right brain creative, they're going to be more into the sales and marketing side of the business. Yep. So what will most likely put them out of business is the lack of left brain thinking. Mm. So their math, insurance, accounting, yeah. tax yeah. strategy, quality assurance, password, cybersecurity, all that stuff they don't, they don't feel like dealing with yeah. is what will most likely be their weakness. Mm. Similarly, someone who's all left-brained is going to be more easily fooled with right brain and creative and sales and marketing mm. tricks and scams. Mm. So if you are right brain dominant, be aware of that and yeah. then be watch out for left brain scams and vice versa. Mm, I love that. Now, right now, I'm jumping between both sides of the brain. Walter, I'm ping ponging right now. What'd you do to me? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Scorpion, talk to me about your company and really the type of individuals and or organizations, I should say, that get the most value out of working with you and your team. Like, What type of clients do you bring on? 
So we we hire people with IQs over 140 Mm -hmm. and then have them managed by people with EQs over 75. Mm. And that creates a think tank of extreme left-brainers working with extreme right-brainers. Man. And that allows companies then to come to us Mm -hmm. in various stages. So let's say they have a startup and it's suddenly things are taking off. And the sales and marketing are running ahead of the operations. Mm -hmm. So now they can't scale quick enough. The website's falling over. The inventory's not working. People are at each other's throats. So we do adult supervision over startups. <laughs> How do you yeah. become like Coca-Cola, where everything's running like clockwork, yeah. all the logistics are in place, and everyone's not yelling at the IT department? Yes, yes. So we understand how to take the best practices from large companies Mm -hmm. and apply them cost effectively to small companies. Mm. Let's say you're going to invest into something. They would bring us in to do due diligence Mm. and not beyond the PowerPoint. We would read the code and see what are you inheriting? Did the person who wrote it even work here anymore? Was this written by chat GPT last week? (laughs) You know, we see all of these horror stories. Um, Similarly, someone's going to sell a business. Mm. They might hire us as the internal auditors before Mm -hmm. they get really audited by the external auditors to clean up all the skeletons in the closet before they go to Mm. sell the business. Makes total sense. So, yeah, we're used to eliminate all the surprises. Yeah. How'd you get involved with David? How'd you meet David Rivero and the the event or all that? What's the connection there? Um, I'm always curious to hear. We met each other a bunch of times socially, investment groups and so on. I'm a keynote speaker to a lot of uh, family offices and Mm, finance conferences. Mm -hmm. And about 10 years ago, we have mutual friends as well that, that throw uh, masterminds. Yeah. And he's seen me speak at those, and we've hung out and chatted yeah. since. Oh, man, that's awesome. Well, Walter, I know they're going to be calling you upstage in a moment. So last thing I want you to do is uh, look at the camera and tell people how they can follow you, how they connect, how they can learn more about Scorpion. So concierge is the shorter URL, mm-hmm. and you can just type in your problem there. Yeah. And if you have any problem and over ten grand a, as a budget, mm-hmm. we'll talk to you about it if we can help or not. Yeah, and uh, that's the easiest way to see our press and everything else that we're doing. Wonderful. So, what's, all what's, centralized that, what's that? One more time. The web address. One more time. Concierge. Concierge. Up. Up. Dot com. Dot com. Perfect. So for everybody watching, just so you know, we'll definitely put some of that link in the show notes so you can just click on the link and head right on over. And speaking of the audience, if this is your first time with Mission Matters and you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe or follow button. This is a daily show. Each and every day we're bringing you new content, new ideas, and hopefully new inspiration to help you along the way in your journey as well. So again, hit that subscribe or follow button. And Walter, man, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. I look forward to hearing you speak tonight. 